Hi everyone, I am doing a process video on my, um, where'd I put it? Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> on how I achieved this look on this little plaque that I did for Valentine's Day. So I just gessoed this and then I'm going to take some molding paste. Now you can use molding paste or you can use, um, like the compound you get, the, um, that fills the holes in your walls in your house. You can also use that too. So I just happen to have this on hand. My husband took my compound, so I can't use that. But you can use that. It's the same effect. And plus you're going to be putting acrylic paint over this. So, I mean, if you decide to try this method out. I have the compound on here, or molding paste on here, and I am going to get, now my first one I used this, it was the Cuddlebug um, folder. I used this and I really liked the way the technique came out, So, and it worked really good. So I think I'm going to use this again. I tried this, and you'll see the technique. I did... Um, I did the flower one, I did the blossoms, but it didn't come out like blossoms, so you'll see that when I bring it over, but I'm going to actually do this one, and you just want to press it into your molding paste, and then it's going to stick, so you're going to have to lift up. And this is just giving it texture. You can do it with anything you want. I mean, you could even probably do it with your, with the um, tool that you use to put the molding paste on with. I really like the texture that this one leaves. So then you can start embellishing it. Um, it will dry and it dries pretty fast. Um, you just want to put on, this is a good way to use like flowers that you've made that you just kind of like don't like or, um, or whatnot. So I am going to go in the house and clean off my stuff and I promise I won't delete this this time and I will be back and we will work on the other one that I've already started but you can see that the texture on here I just think it's awesome so I will be right back okay guys I'm back I my tools are all cleaned off okay so I guess, you know, like I said, I'm new to doing this, so I I would assume that anything would work, like if you did this, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just trial and error, really, of just testing things out. So anyway, so this has got to dry. Um, you can start laying down some stuff on it because it's wet, it'll sit inside, but I like to hot glue it also. But this dries pretty fast um, that I, I noticed the last time. I picked these up, um, I think, at the Christmas tree shop. They are Christmas ornaments. And I found these two that say love. So I want to use these. Just want to break these hanging parts off. And we'll just sand these a little bit. Let me see. I have... Just use my... So I'm just, you know what, let me move you back here so I don't go off camera. 
because I tend to do that. I'm just sanding where I took those little pieces off and this is just an emery board. That's all I use. Nothing fancy. Just an emery board. Okay. So I want to figure out it's too bad because I wanted the bingo card on here. I want to figure out how I'm going to set this up. And this is also a great way to use up flowers that you don't like. You know, that maybe you purchased and you know, you don't, you got them and you don't really like the looks of them, whatnot. So, I'm just going to put the love there, you know what, and it's not deep enough, so I am going to hot glue this on here. Oh, I should have enough in here. So that's going to go there. I think that's really pretty. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to get out some flowers. Like I said, I use flowers that I've either like done something with and I didn't like the way it turned out or I've made myself. I mean, you can do anything really, any type of flowers. Um, you know, like, a lot of these I made and just hated the way they turned out, so I kind of, like, I just throw them in a bag. But this project, it's perfect for these kind of things. You know, stuff that you just want to get rid of or... Because we're just going to cover them with, uh, I've got a leaf here, i got more buds, and more of these flowers. I mean, this is great because I can get rid of a lot of flowers in here. Make that one better. little ones so yeah so these are just you know since there's sometimes some you know some of them that I bought and I just I sprayed them didn't like them didn't like the colors I sprayed them Some of them don't even belong in here, like these. Okay, so I think I have enough flowers for now. Just gonna randomly do like um a flower. Um I'm just going to put together, I think I am going to use, I'm not sure, I made this little cone out of tin because it's textured tin. I have a piece right here. Um, and of course to make a cone, all you do, I mean I use my, my um, protractor, but you just, you know, do a circle with that or you can cut out a circle from your Cricut or whatnot, and then you cut it to the center, halfway to the center, and then you fold it. So I was thinking about putting a cone here with a bouquet of flowers and coming out of the cone. So I think that's going to be my focal point. I'm not really sure that this is big enough. I figured it would be, um, but we'll have to, we'll have to see. At this point, I'm speeding up the video while I add all the flowers and embellishments for my bouquet.
There we go. Okay. Now I want to do something in this corner and um, do something with the love. So I think I'm going to build that up. Oh, I got two there. Oh, I got three there. Nope. I just don't think that the hot glue is going to hold that there, though. actually did this. So what I want to do is I want to... This clogged on me again. I have the worst luck with glossy accents. Put little um, little beads at the end of the antennas. And then I'm going to put the antennas on here. Like that. Perfect. How cute is that? I just want to add more of that. And stick my little butterfly on top here. There we go. And then our butterfly there. I want to build up my flower here. I really think I'm going to put him there. As part of the O. Perfect. And then... Not sure if I'm going to I thought I could pull these apart and because I wanted to use the center. This one's probably just as big. Well, you know what? I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use my E6000 to put it on with because I want to be able to use my glue gun too. And I know glossy accents and E6000 does not get along. They don't play nice together. I'm going to put a flower in there, I think. 
maybe instead of uh, metal pieces or a bead, which I still have to do one over here too. I'll get to that. since it was dripping because I want to do Okay, that'll work. I like that. It's that'll work. I think I'm going to put another butterfly on here before I. I think we got it ready to paint. Okay, everybody, let's start. I'm going to glue a couple more things down and then we're going to start painting this. Okay, so I've added a few things um, off camera. The I added um, the bow here and a heart here and a couple hearts here and a heart in the center of that flower. And I am going to add these two glitter hearts right there. And I also have to get a bling for that, and I'm, I apologize, I should have did that before. Um, I came back on, but I'm just going to, since we're painting over this, I think I'm just going to use a teardrop in there. So, let me get, and I think I'm just going to do this, because... This dried, the glossy accents dried overnight, and I don't want to wait for this to dry. So there, so we have something in there, and then you want to remove all your glue strings. You'll end up painting over them, and it'll look like cobwebs. But I know this doesn't look like much now. So, um, nothing like really coordinates with each other in there and I look at it and I'm like, of course when I look up at the, the camera, it kind of looks nice in the camera. So I'm just going to glue these on. So we have a little bit of, I needed to have something there. So, um, okay. So I think we are finished with that. I'm going to give it a once over with my heat gun because these glue strings are attaching to me. So let's start with the paint. We are going to start with the lightest color first, I said. 
it's not open yet. Oh, you're going to start with the pink, and we're just going to paint everything the pink color. See the glue strings? And hot glue doesn't paint very well. You want to try to get underneath too so that it all I think these um, grass like things are going to take a beating for this. It's going to be a lot of paint being applied to those. just going to speed up the video because all I'm doing is painting the light pink all over and when I'm finished with the light pink I will come back.
This is dried and this is what it looks like all pink. This is the first coat. So I am going to go ahead and get this uploaded into the computer and this is going to be part one and then I'm going to start part two. Okay, so I will be back with part two and the next color.